Hey everyone, I am Dr. Prakash Mangli. So in this YouTube short series, I am going to review uh, some of the important topics for your exam in a short period of time, just uh, less than 3 minutes. Let's get into that. So uh, for detailed videos, you can look at my detailed uh, YouTube videos in my channel in a playlist or you just type the uh, search word and you will get the video. So uh, amino acids, amino acids are the basic building blocks of our proteins. It has got alpha carbon in the center and then it has four atoms attached to it. Uh, that is primary carboxyl group, which is most of the time deprotonated as COO minus. It has a primary amino group, which is most of the time is uh, protonated and our physiological pH 7.4, which is NH3 plus. And then we have H and then we have R group, R group is a side chain. So depending on the type of R groups, amino acid has its own characteristics. So let's get into hydrophobic characteristic and hydrophilic characteristics. So out of 20 standard amino acids, so there are uh, 8 amino acids that can have hydrophobic characteristic and that can be remembered as pimpal TV. So that is phenylalanine, isoleucine, methionine, proline, alanine, uh, leucine and then tryptophan and valine. So these are the hydrophobic amino acids. Other than this, all other amino acids are hydrophilic. So, and also note that the tyrosine has got more of hydrophobic characteristic than hydrophilic characteristic. So, that's why we can also put that into hydrophobic category also. Now, so depending on the characteristic of uh, side chain, we can also classify amino acids as uh, acidic amino acids, which are aspartate and glutamate because they contain COO minus, that is a carboxyl group in the side chain. And then we have, uh, that's aspartate and glutamate. These are acidic amino acids, two of them. And the basic amino acids, we have three of them. That is arginine, lysine and histidine. So in that, histidine is uh, weakly basic and lysine and arginine are the, uh, these are strongly basic amino acids because they contain the amino group which is pro pro protonated under physiological pH 7.4. And then we have three hydroxyl group containing amino acids. They are serine, threonine and tyrosine. So remember that. And then we have uh, branched chain amino acids that is valine, leucine, isoleucine or leucine, isoleucine, valine you can remember as uh, LIV, L-I-V. And then we have aromatic amino acids. There are three aromatic amino acids that is uh, phenylalanine, tyrosine and tryptophan. And then we have two sulfur containing amino acid and that is cysteine and uh, methionine. So uh, these are some of the characteristic uh, characteristics of uh, amino acids based on the side chains. And then uh, we have proline and proline is a special amino acid because the side chain of proline unlike other amino acids. So the side chain of proline that is R group of proline, it is interacted with the primary amino group and make a five membered rigid ring. And that's why so proline do not have primary amino group rather it is referred as a secondary amino group that is uh, exception and important. So only proline has secondary amino group. And also note that since it makes a side chain interaction, the primary, uh, sorry, the amino group attached to the alpha carbon make a interaction with the side chain, it make a rigid ring and all that special characteristic of a proline, we just refer this as an amino acid rather than amino acid. So these two important points you should remember. And also note that whenever proline is part of a polypeptide chain, so it is, it is actually referred as a helix breaker because it do not allow helix, alpha helix to continue in a uh, protein structure, especially the secondary structure of a protein molecule. And also note that out of uh, cysteine and methionine, so the sulfur is free in cysteine, uh, means it can interact with other side chains, whereas methionine sulfur is not free. And note that some of the uh, amino acids have got uh, side chains like histidine as imidazole group, uh, arginine as guanidinium group, and then tryptophan has got indol uh, ring, phenylalanine as benzene ring. Uh, so like this and then uh, tyrosine as phenol ring. So these are some of the side chain characteristics you should uh, remember that. Okay. So and then we have glutamine and uh, asparagine. So glutamine and asparagine although they are hydrophilic but they do not have any net charge. So uh, uh, serine threonine and tyrosine little bit on that. So they are the ones which are uh, participating in post translational modification of a protein molecule. Usually the most common post translational modification is phosphorylation and that phosphorylation on a protein generally it happens over uh, serine and threonine and uh, lesser resistant it will be tyrosine. And also know that um, uh, autophosphorylation by in, uh, initiated by insulin is usually happens on the tyrosine hydroxyl group remember and glycogen in you know or glycogen in uh, tyrosine is the one that accepts uh, glucose coming from UDP glucose in glycogen synthesis remember that. So uh, like this some of the characteristics uh, you got to remember cysteine can in oxidize with another cysteine to make cysteine 
and that means cysteine is an oxidized form of 2 cysteine molecule. So, these are some of the points that you must uh, remember in amino acid. So, this is amino acid classification based on the side chain characteristics. That is it. I am going to come up with uh, another quick review in my next video. Till then, you take care. Bye-bye.